my friend who's, whose mother is um, Catholic, and whose mother is uh, possibly the most wonderful person I've ever met in my life. She wakes up at 4 o'clock in the morning every day and, and prays till 6.30 um, for everyone in her life. And, and I don't know if I've ever met somebody uh, so um, so welcoming and loving as, as she is. And um, she's Catholic, so my friend says that I should always give that poem a disclaimer and, and say, well, you know, and explain what I mean by holy, but... Um, I'm not going to do that. You all know what I mean by holy. How we're all fucking holy here. Um, okay. <clears throat> okay. Let's do another not, not sad one. <clears throat> um, I was a preschool teacher for, for several years. And, um, and this poem came from that experience. And I have to tell you, um, there's a part of this poem that uh, I hate. And um, if... Before walking out on this poem at the end, uh, please stick around and wait till the, the disclaimer at the end. Um, and also, I talk about frat boys in this poem, and I say it in a negative way. And um, about a year ago, I was invited to perform at the um, National uh, Conference for, for um, Queer uh, Sororities and Fraternities, and um, had a, you know, that was awesome. I didn't even know that existed. Did you? Did y'all? But anyway, the guys who got up here earlier uh, um, just reminded me that um, stereotyping sucks, and so that's another disclaimer I'm going to add to this poem. But uh, here we go. Are you a boy or a girl? He asks, staring up in the all three feet of his pudding face grandeur, and I say, Dylan. You've been in this class for three years and you still don't know if I'm a boy or a girl? Uh-uh. Well then at this point, I really don't think it matters, do you? Um, no. Can I have a push on the swing? And this happens every day. It's a tidal wave of kindergarten curiosity rushing straight for the rocks of me, whatever I am. In the classroom, we discuss the Milky Way galaxy, the orbit of the sun around the Earth, or whatever, Jupiter, Saturn, Mars, and kids, do you know that some of the stars we see when we look up in the sky are so far away they've already burned out? What do you think of that? Timmy, uh, my mom says that even though you got hairs that grow from your legs and that the hairs on your head grow short and pokey and that you smell really bad like my dad, that you're a girl. <laughs> Thank you, Timmy. And so it goes. On the playground, she peers up from behind her pink powder pump sunglasses and asks, do you have a boyfriend? And I say, no. And she says, oh. <laughs> do you have a girlfriend? And I say, no. But if by some miracle 20 years from now I ever finally do, then I'll definitely bring a bye to meet you. How's that? OK, can I have a push on the swing? And that's the thing. They don't care. They don't care. Us, on the other hand. My father, sitting across the table at Christmas dinner, gritting his teeth over his still full plate, his appetite raped away by the intrusion of my haircut. What were you thinking? You used to be such a pretty girl. Frat boys, drunk and screaming, leaning out the window of their daddy's SUVs. Hey, are you a faggot or a dyke? And I wonder what would happen if I met up with them in the middle of the night. Then, of course, there's always a somehow not quite bright enough fluorescent light of the public restroom. Sir, sir, do you realize this is a ladies' room? Yes, ma'am, I do. It's just I didn't feel comfortable sticking this tampon up my penis in the men's room. <laughs> but the best is always the mother at the market, sticking up her nose or pushing aside her child's wide eyes, whispering, don't stare, it's rude. And I want to say, listen, lady, the only rude thing I see is your parental parental hand pushing aside the best education on self, that little girl's ever gonna get living with your Maybelline lips, stare Mr. Hips, synthetic QB vanilla smelling beauty. So why don't you take your pinks and blues, your boy go rules, and shove in that car with your fucking issue of Cosmo because tomorrow I start my day with 28 months and know a hell of a lot more than you. And if I show up in a pink fully dressed, those kids won't love me any more or less. Hey, are you a boy or a oh never mind, can I have a push on the swing? And someday y'all, when we grow up, it's all gonna be that simple. So disclaimer, I was traveling, uh, I was traveling around um, with a group called Salt Lines and I was tour and, and there were three queer femme identified women and um, <clears throat> during the performance 
they would, uh, whenever I read that poem, they'd drag me off stage and tear that poem to, to shreds. And what they, what they were saying is, is the part of the poem where I say your Maybelline lip stammers to hip synthetic kiwi vanilla smelling beauty is actually insulting to femme identified women in the same way I'm taking an entire poem and asking people to respect my particular expression of gender. And they're absolutely right. It's a, it's a, it's a flaw in the writing of the poem. Um, I didn't have the, the, the knowledge in my head or heart at the time to, to write something different and so um, instead of changing it I've just been you know calling myself out at the end of the poem and saying look how we fuck up sometimes <laughs> um, okay I guess I'm gonna do a couple more pieces um, let's go with uh, say yes for now and then um, then we'll end with a love poem 